Good morning, this is Distracted Beam. Today I'm going to be talking about how to connect a console and a PC to a monitor, a single set of speakers, a microphone, and a keyboard. Now the sound on here is okay, but going from HDMI to the TV, you're just using the speakers from the TV, and that doesn't sound very good. I've already got one set of speakers. Alright, so I got this thing called Tiny Mix, and it's by Stoblank. It just comes like this, so you need to supply all the cords yourself. So I got this, which is a 3.5 millimeter jack on both ends, male to male. And I plug one end into here, and then the other end goes into my PC. Now on my TV, I've got another 3.5 millimeter jack on the back. If you don't have a 3.5 millimeter jack, you can use an RCA 3.5. It'll look like this, but then on the other end, it'll have a 3.5 millimeter jack. So I'm using just the same thing that I had for the PC. I'm plugging that into the TV, and I'm plugging the other end. also into the tiny mix it's kind of like a Y splitter except for that it's smart you don't want to just use a Y splitter because the signals will terminate each other and then I have my speaker plugged into the bottom and that works okay like that but you do need power and for that you just get a USB A to B connector so it looks like this on one end and then it just looks like a regular USB on the other side and all that's going to do is give it power Plug that in, the light lights up, and now you've got audio from the PlayStation and the computer going to the speakers at the same time. And the reason that's important is because for me, I like to be able to play games on the PlayStation as well as watch movies at the same time. And with this setup, with the audio, I can listen to the audio from the movie and play the game at the same time on the same set of speakers without any problem. I'm using a KVM switch, HDMI. So you're going to have the TV going to this HDMI and your keyboard and your microphone, probably in that order. No, keyboard will be over here. The microphone will be over here. This is designed for a mouse, but I'm going to try it with the mic and see if it works. I have an HDMI cable currently running from the computer to the TV, and I'm going to unplug that. And I'm going to plug that into the KVM switch. One of these sets of cords is going to go to the computer, and the other set will go to the console. I've got one for audio, and i got one for mic, but I'm not going to be using that. Okay. And this keyboard has a pass-through and a keyboard. No, it's not working. Okay, so now we have that. And the next thing is my microphone. I'll plug the microphone into the mouse. Alright, let's see if Audacity likes it. No, it does not. Let's try... Turn off mouse simulation, that's scroll lock, scroll lock, M, enter. Okay, so the microphone is working, it's working through the mouse port. The other side, 
of the KVM. Two USBs. Plug those both into the front. And then this has to go into the back. So I'm going to have to split this a little bit. Move it. And this is also going to help a bit because that HDMI was really short going to the TV. So now you can just hit this button and that will swap. Or you can hit scroll up. Or you cannot hit scroll up. Alright, scroll up twice and then enter. That's what the command is. Let's try turn off keyboard emulation. Scroll up, scroll up, and enter. Or M is for mouse, N is for keyboard. Supposedly you can hit F4, enter, and I will tell you everything, but it's not doing that. Let's try scroll up, scroll up, F4, enter. There we go setting for one PC or two PC gaming mode off mouse emulation is enabled and port switching is disabled so let's turn off mouse emulation should have been there we go mouse emulation is disabled Audacity again just to make sure that the yep mic is still working okay so we're back on the PlayStation now what I want to see is yep all right it's picking up the mic still picking up the mic and still picking up the mic all right good. Yep, keyboard works too. Alright, good. Now it said gaming keyboards get to turn off keyboard emulation. So I turned that off with scroll, scroll, N, enter. Uh, N is for keyboard. And now I'm going to try the keyboard one more time. Alright, so it's this one. see if that works and the answer is no that is unfortunate okay so it's possibly a power problem that doesn't have the juice so let's try plugging the keyboard in then doing and giving it some external power. Okay, that sequence did not work. Although that's possibly the port. connection there but is it connecting just because of this probably let's find out and the answer is yes it's still connected to the PC so I've tried this keyboard and I've tried this keyboard and they both work but for some reason my K70 does not you can see here I'm typing a razor and typing with the razor here so the Razer works, the Corsair does not. Compact keyboard works, a Logitech keyboard works, a Razer keyboard works, but for some reason 
my Corsair K70 does not work. Okay, so what I discovered was that the Corsair keyboard, even when hooked directly up to the PlayStation, so without using that, still doesn't work. But, on the back, if you switch it into BIOS mode, so there's four settings, and you have to go all the way to the end. That's the only one that works, but it does work on the PlayStation. Now I can use the keyboard to type into the PlayStation. And it also works on the PC. So I can use the Corsair keyboard. The uh, only problem is that I got this little flashing light because it says that it's in BIOS mode. It doesn't really want to be in that mode. So now I've got everything the way that I want it. I've got the PlayStation and the computer hooked up to the speakers, the keyboard, and the microphone and the television. And there's one final thing to note, and that is that this is a USB Blue Yeti microphone, and for some reason, every time you connect it to a PlayStation, it is going to try and detect it as a headset, meaning it's going to try and pipe audio out through the microphone. So you have to go to output devices and change that to TV. Now, if I was just using a simple microphone like this, that wouldn't be a problem, but because I have to use the Blue Yeti, that's something I'll have to do every single time.